Hello, in this more informal video I plan on showing you just how to start this NFL standings assignment. Uh, warning, uh, the details of the assignment may be a little bit different depending on which semester you take the course, so make sure you read the assignment closely. Uh, for this particular version, you should see a document similar to this, and it walks you through various steps. I'm not going to show you all of the steps in this video, really just the first three or four. Uh, and then when you are complete with this assignment, you should get a spreadsheet that looks similar to this. Here we have some imported and sorted data. Uh, here we have some logical comparisons to see which teams are great, which ones are terrible. Uh, here we got a new calculation of Jim's metric. Uh, and then we have a, a pretty large scatter plot. It has three different data sets on it. I also have some answers to questions in a text box down here. I've moved that off the screen just because I want you to answer those questions for yourself. So this is what we're building up to, but how do we get started? First, we need to download the data. If you go to Canvas, you should find a file. Yeah, there it is. 2015 NFL standings. When you click on that, make sure you click the download option. And I can see that file is now downloaded to my computer. If I go into my downloads folder, I can see it there. When I open this file, I'll see something that looks like this. This is called a tab delimited text file. Tab delimited means that uh, one column of data is typed, and then the tab character is pressed. And then after that, the next column of data is typed, then the tab character is pressed, and so on all the way through. Uh, this doesn't look great in a text document, right? You see some of the numbers are misaligned, uh, but this will import nicely into Excel. So let's see how to do that. Come over to Excel. Uh, I'll start on a new sheet and we come up to the data tab and I can import from text or CSV. So we do that. I may need to navigate to my downloads folder but I find that file there and we import. Alright, I really shouldn't need to change any of this data or any of the options so I click the load button Excel by default formats it as a table like so. I don't really like that. Um, this is a case where I think Excel is trying to be too helpful for its own good. So I'll highlight that table, come to the Home tab, and then over here, the Clear button, and let's clear the formats. Yes. You know, it's more like a typical data sheet. All right, up next I want to sort this data. So I'm going to click and drag over that whole table, come up to the Data tab, and then we see the Sort option. I want to sort based on where the team is from, so the, the team city or state. So I'm going to sort on that team column, sort by cell values, and we want it alphabetical, so we'll go A to Z. Now before I click OK, I want to look at a couple of uh, data points on here to make sure that nothing changes. For example, the Dallas Cowboys have four wins and have scored 275 points. I click OK. The team names get resorted. I want to make sure that all the data is sorted together. We see that the Cowboys have four wins and 275 points. Great. I don't think any of the numbers got jumbled up in the process. All right, the next step would be to add a good offense, good defense standard. I want to insert a couple of rows above my table. I can click and drag over how many rows I want to insert. Right click and insert. And then as we see in the instructions, so a good offense I'm defining as scoring more than how many points was it? Let's check. Uh, 360 points. So we three, see 360, and then I type points. 
Important note, I have separated the numeric data 360 from the words that are around it. I put it in its own cell. This is important because in that next step, we are going to be comparing the numbers in these columns to the numbers I type up there. So I need these numbers in their own cell. All right, and then a good defense would be one who allows less than 380. Oops. Can't type points there. I need it in the next cell, 380 points like so. Now, at this point, I'm just going to show a couple of formatting things that you can do, uh, which might make your columns look a little better. Points scored and points allowed. I think those columns are a little too wide. But now I can't even see those full words. So what I'm going to do is make this row a little bit bigger. And then all of the cells in that row, I want to allow wrap text. And all that really does is it puts points scored uh, writing top to bottom like you see here. Oh no, good offense and good defense has been cut off. What I'm simply going to do is highlight those cells and then write a line. And then now it looks a little bit nicer. Uh, if I want to add, say, a bottom border down here, I can do that like you've practiced already. And that separates the column headers from the data that's underneath it. Great. And then I'll, I'll leave you here. Now we, we need to create new columns named Good Offense and Good Defense. Make it look something like this down here. Right? I just come over to this cell and type in Good Offense? Question mark. Good Defense? Question mark. And then uh, you can apply the logic operators that you've learned about in a previous lesson to figure out what needs to be filled in here. I strongly recommend take advantage of cell references. So use the dollar sign appropriately uh, to fix any data uh, that doesn't change so that when you copy a cell down, the formula stays correct. All right, have fun.